All right, guys, so we're back with another Pokemon Masters video, and Terrakion is finally here in the Legendary Arena. And I'm going to be straight honest right here. Um, he is piss easy. Um, he's not difficult at all. Um, now, obviously, okay, so the condition, let's actually go into uh, the event details quickly um, because uh, this is kind of a big thing. Um, so, like, he increases his physical attack and special attack, so you got to watch out for that. So, I guess, if anything, you could bring... Uh, Anyone that can lower the special attack and uh, physical attack. Um, and one of the ones, or one of the synchros that come to mind right away is Iris and Hydreigon. Because they double drop on uh, the physical attack and special attack. So you're going to be able to have them at like minus 6 like majority of the time. Um, so it's not bad there. Um, and then the big thing over here. If you have a synchro that can do psychic terrain, you're going to be doing way more damage. Um, and when you're not in Psychic Terrain, then uh, Terrakion is going to be taking less damage. So then he's basically going to uh, he's gonna have like a barrier uh, for say. So it's going to be good to have a uh, character that can have uh, Psychic Terrain. So this is going to be the team that I'm going to be rocking with. Now, uh, <laughs> kind of going with the theme with uh, the past few videos, uh, we're going to rock with Steven in this video again. Because then this is really going to show how crazy he is when he is super effective in uh, SH. Even though last video uh, we were super effective on the final battle that we were doing in that video, but this is like an actual, like I guess you can say a difficult content. Even though the last one was kind of difficult content too. Like, anyways, you know what? For the sake of this video, let's just go with uh, Lucy Mine then, just for the sake of it. Um, actually, hmm, do I actually want to do that? Because we're going to need to sync move with uh, Latios so that we can get that double uh, sync buff. Uh, hmm. Uh, is there another sync pair? You know what? Screw it. Let's just go with uh, Steven because uh, why not? Because I really want to get that double sync off because every time I use a, a team, I want to try to have a uh, six star support on the team so that we can rock with the uh, the double sync move buff because that really does make a huge difference in uh, the battle. Um, but yeah, so the synchros that you wanna like that have uh, sacred terrain that I currently have is uh, Muna. Uh, she is uh, one of the synchros that, or Musharna. Uh, sorry, uh, they're one that has that sacred terrain, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys should have Musharna and uh, Bianca because uh, they're a spotlight character. So you're able to get them on any kind of summon, any kind of banner. So that's what makes these guys really good because uh, for this kind of event, they're easy to get and uh, they have second terrain. So this, uh, she's going to be easily accessible for a lot of players. So this is going to be good. And another option that you can have is uh, May and uh, Latias. And uh, they're really good too because they have Psychic Wish. Um, so that's going to be helpful as well. Um, but the only difference is she is a Poke Fair. So she's going to be very limited as to uh, Musharna. Uh, that is a spotlight that you can get on any single banner. So uh, you can pick your poison. If you have both, then you can really just pick whoever fits on the team better. Uh, and for the theme of this, it's kind of like a Hoenn theme. And that's why I want to go with Steven as well in this video. Uh, just to go with the theme. Because we got Latios, Latias, and then we got Deoxys here. So it's just a nice little trio. Uh, so let's go into the battle and uh, kind of show off this uh, event. Uh, because again, like this event is very, very easy, and uh, a lot of you guys that have a psychic terrain uh, sync pair, this is going to be very easy because you can even just go in with uh, uh, Mew, Mewtwo and uh, Giovanni if you have a psychic terrain user because then they're still going to be doing a lot of damage too. So you don't want to look lightly on uh, Mewtwo in this event because again, with psychic terrain, you're going to be doing a lot of damage. Um, and then until we can get our sync move buff. We're just going to lower uh, Terrakion's special defense because that's going to be very helpful. Um, and we're just going to go with Mist Ball so that we have a chance to lower the special attack. Yeah, so that'll be uh, nice and helpful too. Uh, so for the time being, we're just going to increase our special defense, physical defense with uh, Deoxys. And then we're just going to continue lower um, Terrakion's uh, defenses as, long, as well as his uh, special attack whenever we get lucky with... Uh, May and uh, Latias, so, oh uh, yeah, I think after this attack, we're gonna go, hmm, hopefully he doesn't knock us out over here, that, <laughs> that would kind of be unfortunate, uh, we're gonna go for a potion right away, actually, hopefully he doesn't knock out Latias, if he does, then I'll probably just do a quick cut, and then come back to the battle, 
So hopefully he does not knock us out. Please don't knock us out, and he does not. Thank God. Okay. <laughs> we're going to go with the potion. We're going to go with our sync move. And then uh, we're just going to be doing a ton of damage. This honestly will knock out uh, Trakion, so he most likely will not be able to sync move here, getting his sync move buff. And I think if we avoid getting him his sync move, um, I think for the rest of the battle, we're, he's not going to be able to sync move, so this should be good. Um, and again, like, I love having these animations in the video because, like, not everybody has every single sync pair. So, if you're watching this video and you don't have Latios and, uh, Brendan, uh, seeing this animation is just gonna be nice. Like, a little treat. That's why I like to have these animations in uh, the video. Uh, and when I play on my own, like, when I play off-camera, uh, I, I have the sync move animations turned off. Uh, just because, like, when I'm playing on off-camera, I'm grinding and everything, so I kind of want to speed through a lot of the battles so I mean nowadays I'm not really doing that as much anymore um so for the most part I'm just leaving them on uh when I'm playing and then when the video comes then I'm already having it on so like as you can see like we're in the the, the hardest difficulty for this track on fight and we're still doing a crazy amount of damage and we're gonna go for another psychic wish because this one's gonna be running out very soon yeah there we go and yeah 22,000 damage uh, Psychic Terrain, Deoxys, like, they're just crazy, and don't forget, like, we're not in a Master Passive team right here, too. So, if we had Master Passives on the team, Deoxys would be doing way more damage, too. Uh, because, uh, with the Master Passives, they increase percentage-wise, so, like, they're gonna be, like, the more attack in, uh, that you have, the more damage you're gonna be doing under a Master Passive, because that percentage is really, oh, damn, okay, what? No way, okay. We'll just do this. We we could easily finish this off with uh, May and uh, uh, May and uh, Brendan. Like, thank God for these guys. Cause I honestly <laughs> I was not paying attention there. But like, yeah. Only thing is, the Oxys can do a ton of damage in attack form. But when it comes to defense, like he's very very squishy. Um, so with him, you got to pick your poison if you want to go defense form for more defense, obviously, or if you want to go with attack form and just really do a, a ton of damage, and then have supports that can really back you up. So a little bit of an oopsie on my part there, but yeah, like that is the uh, part three for the Trakion uh, Legendary Arena. Um, very easy as long as you have someone on the team that is a psychic train or a psychic um, uh, field user. Um, then this event is really going to be easy for you. Um, like we'll, Again, we'll go into uh, the Psychic category with uh, what I have currently. And then uh, if you have any of these Sync Pairs as well, then like you could really go in here uh, with them. Um, Serena or Sabrina and Alakazam, you could definitely go in with them as well. Uh, because when they Mega Evolve, their special attack increases, so like they can be very solid there. Um, because they increase their special attack, they increase their... Um, critical hit chance as well so it'll be a nice option um, and then of course you could also use uh, Muna or Musharna as um, a damage dealer along with uh, the psychic terrain user as well so you could use them as both if you really want to um, because in psychic terrain they uh, raise their uh, stats by two instead of one on their uh, trading move so that can be helpful as well um, and then if you have uh, giraffe rig um, you could use them as well because they're not bad uh, tech type psychic type as well um, of course, uh, Lucimine, you could use them as well. Like, there is a good amount of options. Even, uh, Caitlyn, you could use her too. And she's, uh, I think, the free sync pair too. So, like, she's still a pretty solid option. Um, so you got options over here. But the main thing is you want to make sure you have someone that has Psychic Terrain or Psychic Wish, like me. Um, but if you don't, it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, because as long as you're lowering the physical and special attack of Terrakun as well, with you being super effective, you will be able to beat the event. It will take a little bit longer if you're not in Psychic Terrain, but it is definitely doable. Um, because, like, really the only thing that you want to make sure you have is Psychic Terrain so you can do the damage that you want to do. If not, you're fine. Like, these Legendary Arenas aren't, like, too difficult. Now, if they made a Part 4, that would be really fun. Because that is, like, more difficult, like, content. Like, that's kind of, like, Champion Stadium difficulty, I guess, at that point. So hopefully in the future, they could, like, bring in part four, make it a little bit more difficult for, like, um, like a, like a nightmare run. Um, because then it could be, like, on the difficulty as uh, Champion Stadium if, if you were to try to go for, um, 
maybe the 7,000 point run or 10,000 point run. So like, I don't know, maybe in the future they could do something like that. Because with Power Creep, these Part 3 Legendary Arenas, they're going to start being very, very easy. So hopefully they do something like that. But that'll be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, let me know if, what you guys think of this Legendary Arena. Uh, like, for me, super easy. I had fun with it though. I like it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If it's too easy for you or if it's difficult, let me know what teams you use to beat this event. That'll be it for this video, and I'll see you guys on the next one.